Good morning, I'm Ryan Gilkerson, lead creative here at Company 119, and we welcome you to another episode of The Coffee Cup. We thank you so much for joining us. Just wanted to make a real quick announcement that next week we'll be doing our 100th episode. Can you believe that? Uh, we've got a very special guest, Amanda Todorovic from the Cleveland Clinic is going to join us. Uh, she is just an incredible person. She's one of the top 50 people in marketing uh, in the world, and she joins us next Thursday on the coffee cup. But for day, today, we wanted to talk about e-commerce. One of the things that we get calls about all the time is, hey, I have a product, I wanna do an e-commerce website, what should I do? I have a lot of friends that are doing these e-commerce sites as well on their own, they're trying to piece it together. Um, I think the misconception, and we're gonna talk about this in just a second, is that it's really easy to do, it's nothing, you know, it, it doesn't take any effort, you see so many of them popping up, you see people on Instagram with Shop Now sites and things like that, and it looks on the surface like it's really easy. The reality is it's still a lot of work. I wanted to bring up a virtual assistant, Chad, could bring up this article from the Huffington Post. This is an older article. It's from 2013. It's not brand new, but the principles in this article are still the same. It's called the five biggest mistakes small businesses make when starting an e-commerce website. Um, some of these, these points that are made in this article are things that I talk to people about literally every day as we talk about websites. So the first one is underestimating the work involved. I think a lot of people see these template sites as something really easy, really quick hit. It's plug and play. I just put in a couple things. I put my logo on there, upload some pictures of my product, and I'm done. The reality is if you want your site to work well, there's a lot more involved with that. This is just the beginning of where your work is on a website. Um, depending on your, your expertise, you might not even be building your website right to begin with. So to think that this is just something easy that you could jump into, you're really underestimating the amount of work that goes into a really good e-commerce website. Number two, people have no business plan. I like the way the post um, talks about a business plan. I've had this discussion with many people talking about starting websites. They have great ideas. They know kind of what they want to do. Maybe they have a cool product. Maybe they have the cool, a cool service that they offer. That's all well and good. But if you don't know the basics of constructing a business, it doesn't matter how great your website is. It doesn't matter how much your product or service is. If you don't know the basics of business, you're going to have some issues. The Huffington Post suggests that you don't have to have some big 56-page document to have an e-commerce website. But you at least want to know what you're selling who the market is, know your target customer. We talk about that on almost every coffee cup. Know who your customer is. Understand who your competitors are. What are their strengths and weaknesses? Um, are you going to be competitive based on your price? Is that going to work? Just little things like that. And um, what are your competitors doing with their websites? What are they offering that you need to be able to offer to be competitive? Those are all little bits and pieces of a business plan that you need to put together, but you really have to know the numbers side of things before you get into the creative side. Number three, no marketing strategy. This one is the key to the whole thing for me. We've had a lot of people that come in. They want us to build them a website. They have an idea for a product they want to sell, and they want us to build them a website. So they tell us that their budget is X amount of dollars. We tell them, great, that will cover your site. What's your marketing budget? And they go, well, I don't have one. People have, have, have put marketing on the back burner for a very long time. Marketing drives websites, period. SEO is all part of your marketing, content marketing. Marketing is more important than sales if you have an e-commerce website because at the end of the day, you have to get people to come to your site and see it. For most, for all intents and purposes, the sale is done when they get to the end of that journey with you on your website. If they have looked at the product, they like what you have, they found you because of your social media marketing or because of your PPC campaign, your landing pages, whatever it might be, by the time they get to the product on your page, they're already sold and it's been all through marketing. If you don't have any money to put in your marketing strategy and you think this is all gonna be just have a website floating out there and it'll happen, you're gonna have an uphill battle in terms of, of getting out here and making it happen. Understand what marketing is online and what you you can budget for it. Um, choosing the wrong e-commerce platform is something that happens a lot as well. You really have to study these websites that are out here for uh, e-commerce. Some of them are easier than others. Some of them are going to require a lot more help. Some people will go in, you know, they don't realize that you can have like a WordPress site with plugins to make it an e-commerce site. There's a lot of different options you can have, but it's very easy to get into a platform 
think that you understand it, think that you can make it work, and then get into it and find out that you just didn't know what you were doing and it was poor positioning. Um, also, poorly showcasing products. And this is the last one that we have here. Everything online is visual. It has to look great. It has to it has to feel great. It has to be aesthetically pleasing for people to purchase it. If you go in there and take a bunch of pictures with your iPhone camera, some of them might be really good. Let's face it, camera phones are a lot better than they've ever been. Apple just released a new camera. They're great, right? But you still want to know professional photography techniques. You still want to stage it right. You want to have great lighting. You want to make your product look as good as possible. And then on the site, you want it to be represented in a professional manner. You want to have all the proper sizes listed, all the proper colors listed. You want to have it look like you know what you're doing on the site to represent your brand and your product. You also want to have your branding consistent throughout the site. A lot of people think an e-commerce site is just show a bunch of pictures of stuff that I sell and the rest will take care of itself. That's not the truth. You have to constantly update with your branding and make everything consistent so that the message is you are the expert, you are the authority, and you have the best product on earth. So e-commerce sites, can you do it yourself? Technically, you probably can. I know some people that are doing it themselves right now, but you really need to understand the basics of the business side of it, and then you also really need to make sure that you're represented well online from a technical aspect. If you're not mobile friendly, Forget it. If you don't know how to make your site mobile friendly, if it doesn't look good on a mobile site, maybe you think it's ready for mobile, but it's not. Somebody picks it up the, on the on their phone. They're looking at it. They're scrolling through, and it looks like a hot mess. They're not going to buy from you. That's the bottom line. So just because you think something is ready for online presentation doesn't mean that it actually is. Give us a call. We'd love to help you. We'll walk through your e-commerce site with you. We'll help you get it set up. We'll walk through some online marketing techniques and strategies with you to see what your budget needs to be and see how we can help you make more money through your e-commerce platform. You just learn more about e-commerce marketing before you finish your first cup of coffee than your competition will all day. Thank you very much. And remember, next Thursday, episode 100. We'll talk to you soon.